maniniwala ka ba kung sabihin kong madadagdagan pa ang Pinoy World Boxing Champion ngayong 2024? Well, ito ang kwento. Matikas na alas mula sa Sandman ang nagbigyan ng pagkakataong magakit ng karangalan at kampiyonato sa lupang hinirang. Ngunit, brusko ang kalaban mula kanluran na mitiin din ang tagumpay. Ang sigurado, buhay muli ang rivalry ng Philippines vs. Mexico at IBF flyweight belt ang premyo. Dave Doberman Apolinario vs. Angel Camillion Ayala, mabangis na aso. Kontra, palit anyong hunyango. Sino ang lamang at sino ang mananalo? Tara at pag-usapan natin. Agad na iniutos ng International Boxing Federation o IBF ang negosasyon sa salpukan ng number 1 contender ang Helka Million Ayala at number 3 contender Dave Doberman Apolinario matapos ibakante ni Jesse Bam Rodriguez ang titulo. Ilang araw mula ngayon, Malalaman na natin kung saan at kailan ang bakbakan. Parehas na walang talo ang dalawang boksingero. 17 wins with 7 knockouts ang numero ni Ayala na hindi pa naranasang lumaban sa labas ng Mexico. 20 wins with 14 knockouts naman ang record ni Apolinario. Ang dalawang huling laban ng ating kababayan ay ginanap sa Japan at minsan na ding dumayo sa Afrika para pagretiruhin na. Ang nooy IBO flyweight champion, Gideon Buthelezi, sa loob lamang ng tatlong minuto. Ika, then your opponent. There he is. Gideon Buthelezi, Buthelezi has been knocked out in the first round of his IBO flyweight world title. Unbelievable stuff here in his under in his London. But thanks, Abelinario. Ultimo ang dating kalaban ni Pacquiao na si Tim Bradley ay bumilib sa skills at power ni Apolinario at idinagdag pang Malaki ang tsansa ng batang Jensa na maging kampiyon ngayong 2024. Narito ang huling laban ni na Apolinario at Ayala with commentary para mangibabaw ang malaking tsansa ng ating kababayang payak na maiuwi ang kampiyonato. Okay, Dave Apolinario, 19-0 with 13 knockouts. Samantalang itong si Tanis Onjunta, 12-1 with 6 knockouts. Sa Japan po, ginaginanapan laban na ito mga idol at ito po ang laban ay uh, para sa WBA 112-pound division. Round number one, Apolinari vs. Unjunta. Black and gold ang color ng trunks ni Apolinario. And immediately, Unjunta landed right straight. Round one, fill out round pa to. Deva Polinari still trying to figure out uh, yung tamang distansya. Pero gusto ko yung uh, backstep nitong si Deva Polinari rito. Tanis ang yunta. White trunks. Oh, that was a good left landed by Deva Polinari. Ang lalakas sa mga tinapo na yun, but he got countered. Good right coming from ang yunta. So this is a good test for Apolinari. There's a good right coming from uh, Apolinari. End of the round. That is the slow motion. That is a good left shot coming from Apolinario, but he got countered with a left. Round two. Atake agad dun si Onjunta. Malakas yung kaliwa nito si Apolinario. Imagine guys, yung kanyang record. 19 wins with 13 knockouts. Ayun na maganda kay Apolinario, yung kanyang step back and then counter. Medyo nang gigigil ng paminsan-minsan. At ulit nun, oh. Wild miss coming from Apolinario. Wild miss din. Dito kay Tanis Unjunta. Good uppercut. Mula dito kay Apolinario at tatukangutango yung uli doon ni Unjunta. Under a minute left. Round 2. Good left again coming from Apolinario pero sumagot doon at sumukli si Unjunta. Good left again. Muntik magkaumpugan. Oh, tapos na yung bell yun. Let's check the slow motion. Yun yung uppercut na yun. Medyo tumulas, tumama sa tip-tip. Round 3, let's see what's going to happen. 
Oya Polinario ng gigil inaabot siya doon na counter siya ni Ong Junta At nang gigil siya ano pagtayo It looks like Apolinario gusto makabawi Pero kailangan niyang ipagpag ang sapot Ang cobwebs nga ika Pero lalakas mga tinatapo ni Apolinario Kailangan niya mag-ingat Dahil hindi rin basta-basta kalaban itong si Ong Junta Although Ong Junta Pinataob din ito ni Adriel Lirasan A moment ako, tumama yung kaliwa ni Apolinario. Nakukuha na ni Apolinario yung rhythm dito. Especially every time na kumakounter si Ingunta. Hashtag, oy, nagkaroon ng upugan. May katata. Okay, end of the round. Let's check the slow motion. Nang gigil sa Apolinar- si Apolinario, naging open siya doon. At naunaan siya ng Junta Round number 4 Apolinario is on the rhythm Pero they tracked Yung cut na yun. Balik sa ball game Balik sa laban Apolinario vs. Junta Apolinario fainting fainting Oh! Good! Half step back And then attack Tumama yun Bagsak si Junta Let's see if Apolinario Ikakapitalist na yun Oy! Uppercut! Mula balon ang itinapon ni Apolinario and the referee, the referee stopped it. Mukhang may nakita talaga sa mata ni Ong Junta na hindi siya okay. Let's check the slow motion. Tumama yung kanan and then humakbang. Then umatake. Ito yung second knockdown. Uppercut. Parang kulang na lang lumipat yung ulo doon ni Ong Junta. Panalo rito si Dave Apolinario. Castillo won belts, 108, 120 Caragua, trying to stay in the mix of the division. Time out, time out. And they're going to go. These cuts are, are bad, especially when they're over the eyebrow like that. It's scheduled for 12. <laughs> and, and the thing is, when there's distance, it creates a jab immediately. He's just not a fighter, he's a boxing promoter. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and you, you. Oh, oh, good left hook for the right hook. He said, I'm going to walk him down, apply pressure until I knock him out. Another. And for the first time, you're starting to see. And. 
and make it all over the land. Aaron is spot on the corner. That's what you want to see, but get more consistent with that. Finish with a hook. Mayala. Right hand from Mayala. Good body shot right there by Ayala. Yep. Figure it out. Felix Alvarado from Nicaragua. That was a nice pop that jab from that distance. Nice strong jab, you know. Uppercut from Alvarado goes to the box. Now, if it, what does that sensation feel like, Dave? Well, you know, when the Anchorage stands. Diamond, good right short uppercuts. Right there, he goes to the top. for him in this arena, first time fighting in Mexico. He's working against Angel Ayala. Final <laughs> seconds of the seventh round. It's scheduled for 12. Go to there's been blood flying since the opening round. Man, what I'm like about a yellow. Nice. Oh, that was a yes. good body shot. First four for three. Is it only a couple years? Good, he's letting it go. He's letting it go. And he's letting oh, it go. Nice body shot right there by Ayala. Right, Clean it up, yeah. starting to get a little dirty here. And you know, I don't think Ayala did, so he's back onto the pressure. <laughs> get through. Felix Alvarado is making everything tough tonight. He's making adjustments. He's looking good right now. Immediately grabs the, the Vaseline and tries to fight. Yep, the IBBF patch just goes flying, and I got it right here in my hands. Go for a knockout. But he slowed down his pace the last couple of Nice right hook to oh, all the right. right. rounds. The fight has changed. Yes, Alvarado knocked him down on the Yes, he is. You know, to be able to withstand that pressure that Alvarado. So the conditioning is not going to be a factor, game. This dude's won. They're ready for 12. I get to the shot. Dive in at this point. Ayala with the hook. Alvarado with the hook. Big shots. And he's leaving himself exposed to get counter. Great, so. It's blood. Isn't it? And Ayala close. Oh, good body shot right above us. 11th round. And the body shot from Ayala. And continue to build. And right from Alvarado. Body. Ayala looks frustrated in this round. Yeah, man. Alvarado's name is going to be a heck of a scrap. Oh, good shot landed by Ayala. Right on the scene. The corner to win, but I think it's Ayala that needs a knockout right now. In the corner of Ayala. It's that nervous energy in the building, left for the left eyebrow of Ayala. Gets hit with the left hook. Because he knows all the crafty tricks. And then he puts a event to go with Miguel Burchelt. Hook from Alvarado. Body shot from Alvarado. Two division champ. I want to be known as one of the best in the division. They put on a show in the Eliminator. Managua, Nicaragua. Oh. He initially said Felix Alvarado. 